Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Deck boss Meru Chirwan, accused of leaking sensitive information to KBF. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Deck boss Meru Chirwan, accused of leaking sensitive information to KBF. State House is said to be accusing Director General of Drug Enforcement Commission, Deck, boss Meru Chirwan, of leaking large amounts of data against the new Don government's corruption and money laundering activities to Zambia must prosper president. Kelvin Bwalefube. Oh my goodness. It is believed that the government's ongoing breeds on corruption is aimed at settling political scores against perceived opponents. Opposition Party Patriotic Front PF says information it has received indicate that State House is claiming that Chirwa has been leaking information to KBF. Apparently, UPND spokesperson Cornelius Mwitwa recently owned KBF to stop the politics of name calling before he spills the beans on why he was not appointed as minister in the UPND administration. Addressing the media in Livingston the other day, Muito accused Bwalia, who had called New Dawn administration as being stingy, of being emotional. Now the comment which you made, which we feel that as a party cannot go unnoticed, where he said the problem, Nasa Ngamuli Ipati, Batila, UPND, Bakaso. I have found in this party, called UPND, they are stingy. That statement emanates from his DNA foundation, which anchored the patriotic front bordering on hate speech, division, and stereotyping a particular grouping of people in the country. So he is too intoxicated with a divisive language which was their daily bread in PF stereotyping. Calling people names, calling UPND, Bantustans, Tabakateke, they will never rule. That was what he was speaking when KBF was saying Bakaso, he said. KBF, welcome to politics. We wish that you can settle down quickly and understand that being a leader of an opposition political party is not child's play. It is a serious business. Let me also indicate that we don't want to continue on the trajectory of name calling. We should be spending time debating policy and police alternatives, not politics. But if you are going to continue, we will leave those in government to do policy and us as a party, we will do politics. So very soon, if they continue playing around the way they are doing, as a party spokesperson, I will be left with no choice but to begin to spill the beans. So KBF should not push me and the party to disclose why he was not appointed as minister, he added. Muito argued that Walia only assisted a few people on which he spent 15,000 ahead of the August 2021 elections. My elder brother, KBF, made startling comments at his appearance at the Let the People Talk program on Phoenix FM. Firstly, he was so emotional. A leader should not be emotional. A leader should be passionate about what they stand for. Not emotional. He was too emotional, but we forgive him and understand. KBF indicated that he sponsored UPND candidates, MPs and mayors. He should have gone to indicate that, if at all, he gave money to anybody. No one ever asked money from him. No one. Whoever he assisted, a few of those he assisted, what we thought that time was generosity. So those he helped, he helped out of his free will and volition. Not that anyone went to him and said, I'm broke. 
I need 8,000 or 10,000. Never, he said. So if you are going to assist someone, meanwhile, you are doing it for political gain, then that is questionable in leadership. If he becomes president, he will be privy to so many issues. How many people will be exposed under a supposed KBF presidency? Because a leader should have a sense of discretion of what information to channel out to the public. Muitua said, the money the PF was dishing out when they were in power is the money that President Haka Inde Ichlema is using to create employment opportunities for teachers and health workers. If PF had continued, those people who were employed would not have been employed. But the click of their supporters would have been receiving handouts. We are not about to begin to emulate bad political manners, he said. Let him just run his political party quietly and we shall leave him alone to run his political party because we appreciate the role he played to the nation when he joined to support his brother HH to tip the scale that was already tipped by the people of this country to exert government change, leadership change. We respect and we appreciate that. So when he goes to say the UPND are saying we don't appreciate, that they don't appreciate the role he played. As a lawyer, I would have expected him first before he speaks to deal with primary evidence, not to react from hearsay. More news to come my love reviewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.